Hey everyone, this is part 2 of my multiplayer platformer series, make sure to subscribe and enjoy. So picking up on where we last left off, we made basic server connection, which a player can host or join via IP. I made this simple character body to de scene with some character animations. It also has a camera with enabled set to off and a simple movement script. Here in our server script, we first create a variable called player with a preloaded character scene as its value. Here we instantiate the player packed scene variable which we preloaded earlier. And then we set its name to the ID then adding it as a child of player spawn, a node to the. Now if we run it, we should see a player character spawning. It worked, but only in the host side, but not the client side. To fix it, all we need is to add a multiplayer spawner node. Then we set the spawn path to the player spawn node. For the auto load list, it basically means what's seen to automatically spawn in every network client, which we set to the player scene. Now if we run it, everything should work fine. It works, but we can't see it clearly as the players are falling. To fix that, we just add a static body floor. When we run it, it should now spawn players in all clients. It works, but as the client immediately joins, it just moves away. That's because it is colliding with the host player, which make them move. We can also see that we can move the client's player in the host size which we can fix later. To fix the client's player from moving away, we just add a multiplayer synchronizer node and sync the player position and animation.
We will also sync the player if it's flipped or not. Now if we run it, the client's player will not move away. It works. Now time to fix the moving the other client's player problem. We can fix this by going to the player script. And, remember, why we used the ID as the player name. Now we can start using that name. By calling the enter tree function. And setting the multiplayer authority to the name. Multiplayer authority basically means on who is the owner of this node, like the character. Now in the physics process function, we can check if we are not the multiplayer authority. If we are not the multiplayer authority, we return the physics process function thus stopping it. Also below it, we set the enabled property of the camera to true. It basically means we just enable the camera of the player node we have the authority to. Now if we run the project, everything should work fine. It works. But the animation frames are not syncing. This is just an easy fix. We just add the frame property of the animation sprite node to the multiplayer synchronizer. And now everything should work as expected. It works. Nice. We could also have four instances of the game and make it work. That seems to be all for this video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Bye.